When I first started the GMBC, it was literally just a random idea that I'd had and it was just another job for me, but I was hoping that it would be something that I would really enjoy and also that I'd probably meet some, some more kind of gay men that I could maybe hang out with and stuff like that. I thought the idea had potential, but I didn't really have any idea about how big it could be and how much it was going to take over my life. Um, I remember uh, I, I had just moved to London in May 2016, pretty much a month later with London Pride, and a float I was part of was near the GMDC float, and I remember saying, oh, that looked like a really fun group to be part of. And um, you know, three months later in September, I joined, and um, though I was in Chiswick dancing away, I had no idea what I was doing. So, yeah. <laughs> I think for me, the reason I wanted to join GMDC was that I used to dance myself at a young age and I, I used to train in musical theatre and I decided not to pursue that as a career but I actually really enjoyed dancing and I kind of wanted to get back into it in a fun way. I turned up at the um, Soho, Soho Gym and I literally, I, was, I, didn't know, I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know, you know what the studio was going to be like, what the people were going to be like and I just, I was really nervous until, I think it's until we started doing, when like, you played like the warm up tracks and stuff and like the music was really yeah. cool and I think it always helps doesn't it if you enjoy the music. 100%. Like when I'd emailed Alex about joining, I'd sent him this really formal email like, Dear Alex, please can I come to your dance class? You're sincerely Aaron. And then I turned up to my first class and I was absolutely terrified. And then we started the routines and it was just a lot of fun. And I came back, so. Yeah, the, so. Social, the social side of it is what, what kept me coming back all the time. It was just a great way to um, just to have a hobby, I guess, and to sort of meet new people and um, yeah, have a drink after class as well, that was really good. I hadn't danced for about 15 years in front of an audience, and I think the first one that we did was um, Rada um, in okay, December. Last December, yeah. The very first ever performance, and it was like, it's just, it's so, it was so, it was so fun. I remember the, literally walking off the stage the first time we did Vogue, and then we walked off that first time, and then that, and that, that surge of energy that you get, it's just, it's incredible. You can't explain it until you actually do it, but it's almost like, it's like you feel like you've been possessed by something, and it's just, it's the best feeling you just want to keep doing it i don't remember when our first dance was we didn't talk for about the first two months we got partnered up for the show at the where was it in the december showcase last year uh, and even then we didn't really talk to each other and then we did the show at rada and then i think it was the wednesday after that we went for a drink nine months now nine months later or... yep yeah nine months later still go I think my favourite dance was Born This Way. Mm. It was like one of the first dances we learned, mainly because of the meaning of the song. I mean, we all love a bit of Lady Gaga. Mine, I think it comes slightly between two. One is the Britney Hit Me Baby One More Time. Oh, yeah. uh, that was where we all got to dress up in school <laughs> uniforms for the, for the actual performance at the Troxy. And then um, Sissy That Walk. Single Ladies as well is a really great one for me just because it's such a known piece of choreography and it's really intricate and really hard and the first time I taught it to the guys I was just like I'm not sure if I should be doing this I think maybe it's too hard for them maybe they're not ready for this and after that first lesson when they like did it I was like yeah cool they can do this fine great happy and that for me was me seeing the progression in, in what they were capable of, so that was amazing from that point of view. There was one routine that we did in the December so showcase last year called um, <laughs> Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. Um, <laughs> uh, I got on the stage a bit too early and I'm doing my routine. I'm like, hang on a sec, everyone else on the stage is not doing the same routine as me. What the hell is going on? So I just tried to improvise and uh, people got, then got to a point where people had to sort of body grind against the floor. I'm like, I did not learn this at all. Like, what was, I had no idea what was going on. So I just, I was like, do I run backstage and look like a fool? Do I stay on stage? You just try to go with it. Just stay so on I stayed stage. on stage and I looked, I looked on <laughs> had my side vision. I saw everyone in the backstage just looking at me like, oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's probably an embarrassing moment, but it was funny in, in retrospect. What about you? That's my favourite funny <laughs> moment. <laughs> yeah, every time Sexy Back comes on, Aaron's like, what's ah, wrong? Do you remember this one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Memorable moments for me have been like things like Pride. There was just, there was such a good vibe and energy about it. Yeah. Like we're, we're all just like messing around, running around, but like dancing, having fun, celebrating yeah. who we are. This is hands down the best job I've ever had. And I get more from this than any other job. Um, just in amounts of like respect and just what you guys all give back to me is just the best feeling in the world.